Hello guys, this is Vitarix Person Sam. Welcome back to another uh, Rage 2 video. Everyone, welcome back. It is Rage 2. Uh, it is Tuesday. I'm streaming this because I didn't do this yesterday. I was meant to, uh, but I didn't because I was basically uh, finishing off a survival land video. Uh, which, yeah, I know it's getting a bit stupid now. It's becoming like all talk, and you know, every time I say, "Oh, it's nearly ready," it's not ready. Uh, yeah, um, that video will be coming out hopefully on uh, Thursday. I know that's kind of a while away, but hopefully Thursday, just because I've been sweeping up some. Issues. I've had um, the whole footage been deleted because uh, Final Cut's a piece of shit. Uh, but also, um, yeah, I've had to retrieve it and back up Final Cut and basically find any bits of files that can resemble the footage. And I found it, so I was a bit stressed this afternoon. I thought I'd just, I don't know, deleted, not, not, not deleted, but my old bloody, yeah, because I managed it on the, you know, the Dodgy Seagate Drive. You know, as I do, you know, having to wreck things. Um, yeah, my Seagate Pro, yeah, it's broken. Um, yeah, it's basically a corrupted drive uh, and I'm basically using that to uh, uh, use on Final Cut so I quickly moved the you know the file of a movie on fi the project on Final Cut uh, to my um, yeah my new Seagate drive uh, and yeah so I nearly lost my survival land footage I know when I was exporting it and I was like Wanga why is it all black oh it's because it hasn't bloody like, honestly it's like I don't know Bozo in charge <laughs> you know what I mean Bozo's in charge of his channel um, and yeah, so it's kind of a bit stupid, so yeah, I was a bit worried about that this afternoon. Um, but yeah, tomorrow I'm going to the airport, I'm going to be streaming uh, the arrivals at, you know, the usual place. Uh, hopefully Moss Nuke, if they change the runway up, so we're just going to get the arrivals. Um, it's saying the triple sevens coming in tomorrow. or well, not coming in, going out. But normally if it says it's going out, but not coming in, it's not happening at all. It needs to be arriving and showing on flight radar in about... Um, yeah, in about six hours' time, yeah, if it's, you know, departed from, uh, uh, you know, Dubai, that means it's coming, you know, the Emirates 777, but it's just saying on Flight Radar today that, you know, there's an Emirates 777 departing tomorrow, but not coming in, so we checked underground, and, you know, Emirates don't normally stay overnight, that's normally Cafe Pacific, uh, and Virgin, um, but yeah, uh, yeah, I don't think it's coming in, so I wouldn't expect to see an Emirates 777 tomorrow, but yeah, uh, hopefully low landings, we're going to get, um, I don't know, uh, Etihad in the Choose Japan livery and uh, Qatar and stuff like that. Uh, Wii Gaming says hello. Yeah, hello Wii Gaming. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, I've uh, done quite a bit actually. I've uploaded, um, what have I uploaded? Oh no, I haven't uploaded it yet. <laughs> yeah, I was meant to do the model. Yeah, I've uploaded, I've made the model video, uh, but I haven't made it yet. It's coming out tomorrow. I never said, um, oh, you know, develop the graphics for these. Uh, oh my god. Um, you know, with these, uh, you know, model reviews I'm doing. It's just a different type of editing, and it requires me to have, like, different graphic overlays, um, and, you know, templates on the video, um, and every time I, you know, make a model review video, I've kind of got to make all that over again, uh, but I found an easier way to do it, which is just, um, basically copy and paste, um, yeah, I never knew you could do it on Final Cut, you can copy and paste layers, so instead of me making it all over again, or assigning it as a compound clip, I can just... Uh, copy and paste the template, um, which is, yeah, handy, I know, again, Bozo in charge, I, I need more than one person working on this channel, you know, because <laughs> I've got, well, not this channel, I'm, I'm alright on this channel, but, you know, my other channels, like SL Aviation, Trevi Expert X, you know what I mean, there's far too much going on, and I can't work on all of them, all at the same time, so I've kind of got to, like, even it out, even Stevens, I think Steven could even it out better than I could. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, basically, yeah, that's coming out tomorrow. Uh, the uh, yeah, yeah, it's now being decided. The Jet Two uh, Seven Five Seven Two Hundred from NG Models One to Four Hundred, obviously. Um, yeah, I'm going to be reviewing that, or I've reviewed it. It's coming out tomorrow because uh, yeah, I've still got a bit of work to do on it. You know, it's about. You know, we say, oh, it's quality, not quantity. No, 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 it's, yeah, it's quality, not quantity. Uh, I'm just trying to do that, so. Um, make sure the videos are ready. Not rushed out just to meet demand. Like, oh, yeah, I said every Monday. Well, what happens if it's not ready by Monday? Just upload it. That's what Boeing do. <laughs> and Apple. Well, not Apple, but some companies do that. They rush things out. There we are. Prime example, Bethesda. <laughs> this game. <laughs> yeah, they wanted to look good. So they made it come out early um, and yeah what you what you should do you should basically say oh 
it's coming out the earliest it will come out is that even though say when it's already ready this is what politicians do they um they say oh yeah um deeply they know oh yeah you know it's um way overdue it's, it's way overdue this um this date we're putting on it uh, so we're gonna say for example um we say yeah the 8th of march for schools to reopen it's pretty safe now but they say oh yeah no no the 8th of march but then they say oh no we're going to change the date to schools to open on the 22nd of February. You know what I mean? That makes them look good. Even though it's already technically safe to open the schools right now, um, they prolong it to a later date. So it's like me saying, oh, yeah, guys, I didn't let you know about that. Um, yeah, that, um, I don't know, um, that SL Aviation video. Um, I edited it last week, but it's coming out. Um, I don't know. It was, it's, it was meant to come out um, in about a week's time, but instead I'm going to upload it tomorrow. You know what I mean? Everyone thinks, oh, how good are you? But secretly, uh, I've actually been an idiot and um, should have really, you know, uploaded it before. So that's what politicians do. They um, basically lie and say, oh, yeah, um, you know, make dates. Um, they announce dates to be longer than they should be. And then they say, oh no, we'll open them earlier. So they look good, if you know what I mean. To stay in power, that's what Bozo does and all of his little Eden friends, you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Yeah, I'm up it. Um, yeah, I've been watching a bit like spitting image recently, you know what I mean. And it's I know, spot on in terms of, you know, politicians and Muppets. I own this government and all that, so yeah. Um, and yeah, hello. <laughs> some of the things in this game look like some of them, actually. What time are you streaming tomorrow? Uh, I'm going to be streaming at, um, I don't know, actually. Yeah, uh, 10. No more time. Um, so yeah, that should be totally good as well. Get some planes. Uh, but yeah, this survival land video. Yeah, it, it prime example, yeah. Um, for example, this survival land video could have came out Monday last week. Not this week, Monday last week, right? So two weeks delayed. Now it's three weeks delayed, nearly three weeks delayed. Um, and I say, oh, no, 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 it's not ready yet, it's not ready yet. It's coming out on... <laughs> That's me at the airport, Wee! It's coming out um, on Saturday. It's coming out on Saturday, right? Um, it's survival, it's not, but imagine if I say, oh, it's coming out on Saturday. Oh, listen to my chair. I fixed this. Yeah, it's coming out on Saturday, right? Survival on Saturday, but I upload it tomorrow, you know what I mean? It makes me look better, even though technically it should have been out three weeks. That's what politicians do. Yeah, got Mr. McLaughlin, would be proud. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, come on guys. Let's uh, have a bit. Oh yeah, I've got a new gun as well. Not a new gun, I, um, a new power. I can like do this thing where I like grab them and smash them in the face. <laughs> yeah, I need to show you. Hang on, just give me a minute. I've forgotten how to do it now. Right, get here. Oh, no, 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 I actually didn't know how to do it. Um, right, get here. Yeah, 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 this is it. Get here. Come on. <laughs> and smash them. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, I remember. Yeah, I know. I remember this too. <laughs> yeah, this power up. Is the game sound gone? What's going on? The game's crashed. <laughs> what the hell happened then? <laughs> I thought something weird was going on, yeah. Okay, let, we'll have to restart the game. I don't think the game sound went it. The game crashed. Okay. Yeah, the DLC isn't... Uh, yeah, prime example, yeah. Before things should be out. What the hell is going on? Sorry, someone in uh, one of the rooms is... um. It's like, it's like I'm living in university. Sorry, guys. Someone in one of the rooms are making an awful lot of noise. Can you keep it, keep it down? Can you keep it down, please? Or won't be having lunch with you tomorrow. <laughs> oh, imagine me in university. I can't be doing these videos in university. Everyone will be like, <laughs> having a go at me. <laughs> Shut up. What are you saying? Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't do that. Well, uh, yeah, good news, actually. I'm actually having a, um, a careers meeting 
Um, oh, this game is terrible. What happens? It crashes. And then I can't play it at all. I have to restart my Xbox. Um, and I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Well, I could, but... I don't know, is it worth it? I want to play Rage, but... Yeah, I'm going to have to do that. I'm going to have to restart my Xbox. Um, or I could just continue with the... Yeah, world. You never... Uh, free from Thursday stuff. Project. Yeah, I've actually made a, a series for that. No, I think this game is actually um, on its last leg. So I'm going to turn off the Xbox for 10 minutes. <laughs> no, 10 seconds. Uh, I don't know if the stream will still be live. Yeah, hopefully it'll still be live. Uh, still got audio. Um, so hang on, guys. <laughs> yeah, have we still got... Was it just a... I don't know what you call it. Uh, a black screen if we got <laughs> a cock up. Yeah, it is a cock up. <laughs> so have we got video? Have we got the Xbox thing going? Yeah, here we go. Um Yeah, hopefully this should be in sync now. I'm just gonna oh no I can't. <laughs> yeah, I was about to load the home screen, but I can't do it when it's bloody loading up. Yeah, this is what I have to do for rage. I have to breastfeed it. Um, because you know it's a it's a bad game. Uh, but no, no, no. I don't, I don't know what happened then. Well, I think it's the DLC. Like after the last video, I was exiting the game, and it crashed. Then you know what I mean. I was having a bit of fun in the car, just after the stream. Whenever the last Rage Two video was, I think it was um. Uh, when was it? Um. Was it last week? I think it may have been last week. But I've done a whole week about playing Rage. Yeah, I think I have. Um, yeah, it was. It was last week. And, um, yeah, the game just crashed. You know what I mean? It just completely crashed. Who's playing today? Me. That's who's playing today. Um, and, yeah. Um, so I was like, oh, okay. It's crashed. It doesn't matter because I'm not playing it. <laughs> I'm not playing it now. I've done the video and I'm happy. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a quick audio. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's what I do. Uh, before I start my videos, uh, to basically uh, get the audio synced up with the gameplay and all that, or the gameplay synced up with the audio, whatever you prefer, really. <laughs> what have you done in your Minecraft world? Not much. I was actually playing it before. I was, but I haven't done anything. I was just admire. I know I spent an hour just drooling at my planes, like, Ugh. I could do that with, with my models. So when I'm in Minecraft, I'm just like, well, I'm like that. I'm like this guy. Oh, look at me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've done some good work. I think my 767 in Minecraft needs to change. Because it, it, it looks terrible. I've only got two. Oh no, three of them. I've got three of them. Um, but the thing is that I can't make it... Well, I can, but... Yeah, the 767 is shorter than the A33200. If I extend my 767 and make it bigger, it's going to end up... Bigger than my A33200, and the proportions are wrong there, if you know what I mean. Uh, also, a model that's wrong in Minecraft, or mold, um, is my A3. No, my A340 is alright. My 777, it needs a bigger landing gear. Only slightly, though. I've been looking at that bloody Gemini Jets one, haven't I? Oh, yeah, I bought some new models as well. I bought a, um, a 2E767 GABYG. Uh, I bought a. High Fly A330 Neo, because um, that's on Phoenix's little, you know, page on the AMS store. I've also bought a, um, I normally buy three models, <laughs> it's always three. Um, not two, sometimes one, but it's never really four or two, it's normally three. I don't know why, but because of it can do an unboxing then. <laughs> yeah, and um, I bought a Jet Airways A320. No, A33200. Um, because Jet Airways, I think they were Indian. Yeah, they used to fly into Manchester uh, with A333. And that model was about £28, yeah, the Jet Airways. So, yeah. Damn. That 767 looks good. Yeah, I know. I actually had a dream last night that. Because um, I ordered the. Uh, yeah, I was looking forward to this model. The, um, I don't know if they're coming tomorrow, I don't know. But I ordered it. Yesterday night, the um, yeah, 2E767. I know Phoenix have got a 2E767, which is great because 
I need that, you know what I mean? I'm probably gonna only buy one, but you know, one's enough. Um, and yeah, so that will be part of my Tui fleet as well. Um, well, I just hope they get the colours right because my Tui 737 Max, you know, the colours are all wrong, the paint job isn't the best. Um, so yeah, give us a clue on what the score is <laughs> for the Jet 275. All right, we gaming. Um, here we go. We're playing Rage now, <laughs> and I'm gonna smash them up. Um, come on, you really deserve it now, Matt Hancock. <laughs> Where is he? Get here, Matt Hancock. <laughs> Just punched him. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So the game sound doesn't go. It seems to be something to do with combat when you're in combat scenarios. Um, the game sound just completely goes, and the, you know, surely it's a simple game bug fix, but no, 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 no. It's all right. You, you, you just keep resetting your Xbox. Takes about five minutes, and um, yeah, you can't play the game unless you reset your Xbox. So that's basically what the game is. Yeah, it's just pure incompetence, isn't it? There's enough businesses out there, guys, that have. Um, repulsive incon incontinence. <laughs> yeah, feels like it for the customer. Yeah, he's at the punchimer. Yeah, talking about punching. Yeah, uh, yeah, incon incompetence. Yeah, um, and yeah, unfortunately, that is a uh, Rage Two or Avalanche Studios or whoever they are. Um, but you know what I mean? It is that kind of thing. Like as soon as you start talking, you know. Developing things across the world because Avalanche Studios is Swedish and uh, id Software who made the you know the shooting. Um, yeah, they're basically you know, we're talking one from Texas and one from bloody Sweden, you know what I mean? That's like another the other side of the world, so there's going to be um issues a bit like Bethesda with um Fallout 74, um, or Fallout 76, sorry, um. And do you know what I mean? You get issues like that. Boeing, for example, making half their planes in um, China, and you know the tail thing comes from um, I don't know Brussels or Belgium. You know what I mean? Um, you know it works for what's it work for? It works for cell phones, um, running shoes, um, hard drives handbags and it doesn't you know it doesn't work for planes um, so that's why you know uh, Boeing has a lot of issues with making planes nowadays because they have this um, I'd say um overconfident attitude that oh we've been doing it for a hundred years we know what we're doing and then two of them crash you know what I mean so um yeah they get very um, complacent with uh, things or have it's just modern day Americans you know what I mean uh, just uh, putting uh, their profit um, in front of their safety or engineering or um, stuff like that. But, you know, if something else goes wrong with that, uh, and I don't want to speculate, but people have said, oh, you know, um, you know, this tight schedule stuff of the Max, um, it, you know, it, it's inbred with a 777X. You know what I mean? It, it, the same management and care, dare I say care, yeah, has gone into the max as much as the triple seven X. So if that plane completely fails or if one crashes or they have issues with it, um, yeah, people will be um, not buying that and instead buying the A three fifty two thousand or whatever or one thousand or yeah. <laughs> I predict they may they may make a two thousand. I don't know. Um, but about to make an 800, an A350 800. Alright, I'm doing a gaming video. I'm talking about the. We can do this tomorrow. What am I meant to do? Am I just meant to shoot guys to death? I'm in the squad, yeah. Come on, get it. Oh, kicked him! <laughs> yeah! We love to do that. Get here, Matt Hancock. <laughs> yeah. I didn't actually know he was actually. The boss, the head boss of the NHS. I know that's scary, that isn't it? That is absolutely terrifying. Yeah, the biggest wimp on the planet. Yeah. Yeah! Listen to him. Get here. I will get you. Hang on. I've now got all this loaded with me. And, uh, yeah, basically just. 
I, I, I mean, I don't know what I'm doing. My base is meant to destroy everything here. Um, I, I, I just don't know what I'm doing. With this DLC, I'm meant to clear out all these or whatever. I'm just doing what the dialogue tells me to do. They may make an, a, a 2000, but all depends on demand, yeah. Has this game crashed again? No. Sorry, if it crashes again, I'm gonna... Um, <laughs> do Doom Eternal again. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. We've done Doom Eternal. I was actually planning on playing it the other night. Maybe we should have done it instead of resetting the Xbox. No, no, no. We've got, we're, we've got um, duty to carry out in uh, Rage at a moment with this DLC. Yeah, but people said, can you do Terra Mania after this? So I might do that. Um, in fact, I will do that. It's that scary music again. Do, 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 do. That really scares me. <laughs> I don't know why. So what's that done? That's um, does it open something up or whatever? Yeah, it truly is a lost city, isn't it? Well, what's it done? Turn it off. I don't know what it's done. Has it opened a hole somewhere? A hole. Has it opened a little cave? There's fights everywhere, you know what I mean? Alright, okay, let's get to the, uh, the, the quiet of a log, that's it. Missions. I've done all of them for him. No, I haven't. Yeah, I've got a, yeah, a signal, blackout, inspect intel, inspect intel. It's like clearing your junk like red. <laughs> Markers red all. You know what I mean? Can I do that? Um, Rise of Ghosts. Ah, uh, here we go. These are other ones. I'm getting confused. Who's he? <laughs> oh, he's the guy you... Um, caught me? Yeah, the little Indian-looking fella. He's a nice guy. <laughs> yeah. That's what I say about our government as well. Oh, yeah, the little Indian... What's his name? Raj... Yeah, he... Financing... Um, yeah, given all business and all the support we need, and uh, yeah, he's the only one that seems we're all slimy, you know, conservatives and Labour. I'm really into it at the moment. Possible rats, oh good. Yeah, this is where I am, and that's the the rage world. But I think, I, I think I'm just meant to. Like, it is, it's like. I'm being blindfolded <laughs> with a an objective somewhere. You know what I mean? I've just got to try and find what I'm doing. I will play Rage one day. Yeah, and it's a good game. It is all right, but it's not um it's not structured very well. You know, the, the quests aren't good. The world's great, and the combat. Yeah, <laughs> everyone's demanding about the the uh, the review for the two e uh, the. Uh, Jet 2. Hey, let's just say it's somewhere high. Like, NG models. Like, I know how good NG models are, but because I've done this, you know, this model review Monday, more like model review bloody Thursday. Um, <laughs> yeah, oh, Wednesday, sorry. You know, it, uh, NG are probably one of the best companies in terms of models. It's somewhere in the 8s and the 9s, guys. NG are absolutely fantastic. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not. Um, so yeah, somewhere really, really high. Um, yeah, we've yet to uh, 75, which is good because I was, about to, I was about to do a Delta. I don't want to ruin it because I might do those two models in the future. What I do, I postpone the two models that I don't, you know, um, or the votes don't uh, include those two models. But you know how I'll vote in. Yeah, I've got three models, right? One model, another model, and another model. Whichever model out of the three wins, um, yeah, I will do. And for some reason, it's always the. <laughs> I set three, it's always number three, it's always model three that gets through. <laughs> yeah, the 2737 Max was model three two weeks ago. Uh, the Embraer KLM E175 was number three, model three. And yeah, this, so I might change around the lists and all that just to. And it's almost like, um, psychology, isn't it? Do people always pick the last one? 
If you just if you say to someone, right, which I don't know which, which um I don't know um which, which tempo sounds better between these three um settings on this song? You play number one to them, and then you play number two. Every time, people always pick the, the, the most recent one they've heard. That's why people say, oh, sorry, these are the guys that are helping me. <laughs> sorry, guys. It's all right. <laughs> See, if it was Rage 2, it would attack me. I mean, <laughs> Fallout 4. <sighs> What's Skyrim? I have a chill in this game, and I'm not. <laughs> um, but you know what I mean? People say that, like, oh, that was the best holiday I've ever had. The, you know, the most recent one, ooh, that was the best meal I've ever had. You know what I mean? So, I think it's just down to our experience, but with a, a, a vote, when people haven't even seen it yet. You know what I mean? Um, it's interesting how people's minds work. Like, people always pick the the last one on the list. Like, I'm just like, I'm not calling you guys stupid, but I know, like, almost... I know that's, that's just how people work. I, I would probably look at it. Uh, look at the review. The side, like, oh, I'd really like to see him unbox that because maybe one, I don't have that model yet, I'm thinking of getting it, two, um, I don't know, I wanna, um, yeah, see that, but not really, but model three, you know, if it's, like, really rare and stuff, um, you know, and, and a load of people wanna see it, well, don't just do it because a load of people wanna see it, you know, vote because... For example, you might want to, because you know every vote counts. But I know a lot of people have a have a, have a massive say in terms of things like aviation. Um, but yeah, that's why I'm trying to pick three models that have kind of kind of in the same standards or the same values in terms of uh, size, weight, kind of model quality as well. You may notice I placed my nothing bad on Phoenix here, but my Phoenix Seven Three Seven Two E. Um, with kind of, um, you know, a mediocre A321 from um, Gemini Jets, and a, um, what else was it? What else was it between? Uh, I actually can't remember. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, a, a BA, um, A319 in the uh, BEA livery, um, from Gemini Jets. You know, that model's good, so it kind of wanted to kind of spice things up a little bit. Um, but yeah, I won't do something like, oh, I don't know, KLM 737. Um, I don't know. Uh, Ryanair 737. And then Emirates 777 in the Expo Blue livery. You know what I mean? Bugger me, people will probably pick the Ryanair. <laughs> Bloody plane spotters are so unpredictable. Their own people, you know what I mean? Everyone's their own person, I know. But yeah, you know what I mean? I'm trying to do a fair share, all round kind of vote. So it's not unfair. But also, I was kind of thinking of maybe asking you guys, like, what models do you want? And I could buy it on behalf of you. I don't mean buy it on behalf of you, but I can basically buy it. Um, almost, almost, you know, say to the AMS store, hey, I'm doing, like, kind of like this um, checkout and, you know, kind of want to, um, you know, um, I'm, I'm basically ma I'm making a service here. Basically, or they probably won't want that because they want people to buy rubbish anyway. But you know, what I mean, if I basically say to the AMS, or hey, am I, uh, is it okay if I um, pay for one of your models and consistently ask for a refund and send it back because I'm, I want to um, basically review models on other people's behalf before they buy them so they can see what you know the models like before they buy it. Because so many people end up with broken models. I kind of want to, you know tell you guys what that model will be like before you guys buy it, if you know what I mean. But hopefully maybe I can speak to the AMS store and they can... Yeah, the AMS store are very open. They're very, you know, good. You know, I've spoken to them a couple of times on the phone. You know what I mean? They're decent people. You know, they're not some stupid company that's all, oh, no, you can't do this, and shoving things down your face. Yeah. Um, they're very, um, yeah. I know they're very, very um, accepting it, you know. But, um, fair show guys that know you know, about their planes, <laughs> obviously. Um, and, you know, um, if, you know, I've been inconvenienced, they um, put, you know, £5 into my account or give me a 10% a discount if, I don't know, the models arrive late or something. You know what I mean? That's service you want to see. 
you know, again, as they say, um, building a business is about um, making a relationship with a customer, not closing a sale and um, moving on from there. You know what I mean? So, yeah, they, um, yeah, they do things right on the AMS store, and uh, I like to see. <laughs> That's only because they've given me money when I've been inconvenienced. <laughs> it's kind of like McDonald's when you say, "Oh, this bloody thing it didn't come with chips," and they give you an extra. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, pair of chips. Okay, <laughs> extra pair of chips. <laughs> well, the bloody pants. Extra pair of pants. <laughs> yeah, uh, some more chips and stuff. Um, and yeah, it's kind of like that. But no. Uh, yeah, probably won't do it now. <laughs> but yeah, I would like to buy. The Etihad A350 from Phoenix. I've heard it's a bad mold, but would like to see it through a video before it's broken to me. Yeah, I know what you mean. So basically, I'm unboxing the model um, for you. And uh, yeah, but no, I said that to my nan. She said, you know, you got to charge the, you got to charge the buggers. <laughs> and I was like, what do you mean? She said, well, you know, love, you've got to. Because I was out walking with her today. She said. You know, if you're being asked to buy models for other people and review them on their behalf, you should charge like about ten pounds uh, for people to watch it. Um, and yeah, because some people don't have a back garden or <laughs> just have a TV, and that's all they have to. I know, I know what's that gonna do? With it. <laughs> they just thought, oh, but yeah, my nan and my dad are really having a go at me at the moment because um, <laughs> they really want me to make money on this YouTube thing. You know, since. Uh, and all the success at the moment, and with the streams and all that, and yeah, everything. It's getting very, very successful, and yeah, I'm, I'm very fortunate to be somewhere where you know it's all happening so positively with a great community. Um, and yeah, which leaves me to um, yeah, I've just got something to talk about. Um, not nothing really an issue, but um, yeah, if you've noticed a couple of dislikes in the videos at the moment. Uh, unfortunately, yes, there has been a um, a little bit of a I don't know. I'd say a little bit of a, a flare up in terms of um, just some <laughs> just some nine-year-olds, guys, um, and they're basically, you know, you know. I think everyone basically knows, but I just don't want to really talk about them at the start of my video um, or at the end of my video. I want to kind of talk about them halfway through. So uh, if they're watching this, hope you have a good day. Um, yeah, just just ignore them. Just ignore them. Yeah, there's this guy called Plantera, uh, and uh, he's made about I don't know three other YouTube channels, or he's, he's associated with his mates. That oh, there's this guy called a Terraria expert, and he's um, he's not an expert. He's a newbie. And there's this guy called Milky Way Andromeda, um, a Triangulum Galaxy, um, and Solar Flare. And there's one called I Like Turtles, and there's also another one called Moon Lord. And there's another one called Jesus Christ. I've reported all of them <laughs> um, for harassment and bullying, uh, but also spam on behalf of the stream yesterday. And you know, hardly anyone could get their comment in because of these um, low lives who clearly have a lot of time on their hands. Um, and yeah, you know, my, I did my stream yesterday at the airport, and they were interrupting. I blocked one of them. Another one came on. I blocked that one, and another one came on. The game says just ignore them. Yeah, again, I'm just trying not to give them oxygen because it's almost like it's like yeah, you know yeah, shit stains. You don't want them anywhere near you um, in your life. You want them totally out of there. So I'm basically trying to avoid the shit stains, not give them oxygen to live off and to breed off. A bit like the virus, really. Um, and yeah, so I basically reported them to YouTube. I've had a a, a fair message back from YouTube today basically saying if they you know continue harassment or they find any um, links in terms of um, associated uh, online cyber bullying that's what YouTube call it um, I should get involved with um, I don't know local authorities or something but YouTube said they'll take drastic uh, actions to dispone um, the user account and ID uh, of these individuals so yeah, that's uh, pretty positive because uh, I sent something off to YouTube just letting them know that you know, you know they're kind of interrupting the I don't know the excitement and the free 
for all streams, free viewing for everyone, and um, you know, interrupting with uh, you know, putting their sad little life in my life, which um, yeah, is um, not needed. Uh, so I basically said, you know, on behalf of my safety, other people's safety in the stream, you know, these accounts could be associated with, you know. Um, viruses or whatever or you know there's a whole thing last year with uh, Google accounts getting hacked whenever you clicked on the, the user um, icon on YouTube you know the, the person who commented they could steal your um, ID and all that so on behalf of you guys and me safety it needed to it needed to be reported uh, so I've basically done that so yeah um, all the dislikes of uh, from them but what I like to think is the dislike button is almost like I have a sad life button. Every time they click it, they're admitting that they have a sad life. <laughs> so, yeah, my last Terraria video had about nine people admitting that they have a sad life. So I kind of thought, how sad? I don't feel sorry for them, but yeah, it, it does make you think like, God, you know, I'm going <laughs> to appreciate my life. Um, yeah, whilst I've got a happy life and not, um, yeah, differ over other people having a sad life uh, over my happy life because that's what it's all about isn't it um, yeah it's funny as well because I basically uh, you know showed my uh, YouTube subscriber um, status um, I sound like Boris Johnson um, publicly a couple of days ago you know my 8,600 subscribers uh, and yeah um, I, you know <laughs> you probably have a look at that and probably think ah. Oh, you know, I'm jealous, whereas other people would just not even, you know, bat an eyelid. They'd just be like, oh, he's worked hard. <laughs> but these people clearly think, you know, obviously, creed um, and live off um, other people's success and want to desperately try hard to be that person or to... But when they can't do it, what do they do? They take it out on people that are happier than them. That's just what bullies do. They basically live and breed off other people's happiness to make them happier but to make the person sadder it's basically like a form of cancer it's a sickness that's what it is it's a sickness and uh, these people that are bullies unfortunately don't really have the intelligence to wake up or to you know um think they probably do think about their life but they, they're not going to change because you know um you know like in the woman in black like redemption and um um, regret and the unforgiving, the ever more of, um, I don't know, regression and aggression, you know what I mean, to others, uh, make them ha feel happier. Um, and yeah, it's uh, sad, I think um, Pond Life could find a better way to be happier than that. Uh, again, I think I'm doing Pond Life a disservice, sorry down there, <laughs> but um, yeah. Well said, yeah. Thank you, Smile24. Uh, but another great thing um, about YouTube is that, you know, uh, they've clearly noticed. I think YouTube are very switched on with, you know, this whole bully thing and, you know, cyberbullying because the internet is basically, um, you know, emptying a drawer out of a, a window. You know what I mean? Seeing all the rubbish in there. Uh, so, yeah, uh, cyberbullying is literally. Um, the center, the equator of bullying. Um, so yeah, it's um, you know, something they take very seriously, which I applaud YouTube for. I just said I um, I um, I accept and I respect that YouTube can't filter every um, bad comment or uh, negative user, uh, but I would like to see um, this. Um, um, what did I say? Here? This uh, inconvenience of these individuals. Um, I didn't say dealt with. I use more like a a digital kind of um, di a bit of piece of dialogue. As I said, uh, these individuals' um, behaviour mannered in uh, some form of um, short-term punishment. So I'm giving them a benefit of the doubt. <laughs> so yeah, uh, but I've got a bit of pull anyway with YouTube. So. Uh, yeah, that's uh, good on my behalf, but uh, also I'm doing it for you guys as well, so you guys can enjoy the free viewing on the streams. Uh, but also I'm hoping to make a couple of you moderators. Dylan, 
Um, Smile24. Um, whoever wants to be a moderator. Um, and wants to basically do my job for them. Again, I don't want to get people involved with doing what I do. Of reporting and, you know, basically... Uh, retaliating on my behalf, like, oh, you don't say that to Victoria Expert, you really, you know what I mean? Because I don't really want to get you guys involved, uh, because that's my job, not yours. But in terms of all the dislikes on the uh, videos at the moment, that's them. That's those nine um, um, individuals who, um, I don't know, just, I don't know, I'm sure they could achieve a lot more in their life if they, you know, moved on or. Didn't want to bother <laughs> me again, they're not bothering me because they're wasting their time. Every time they comment, I'm just going to block that channel, report them, and it's all going to link, as YouTube phrased, it's all going to link to an associated user ID, basically, device they're using phone, laptop, and YouTube can basically, um, yeah, um, um, relegate and uh, expel uh, the user's interaction with the. Um, the software slash YouTube um, or Google for um, harassment and um, um, cyber bullying um, and uh, yeah that's great that's great that they came back to me so quickly and um, yeah so I just sent a, a quick fired off a quick one just saying thanks uh, I will um, speak to you if things uh, continue or more harassment har har harassment material is uh, therefore repulsive enough for me to, you know, um, continue to uh, protect myself online, but also you guys, so that's basically what I'm doing. Yeah, so I've been a YouTuber. <laughs> Especially nowadays, you've got a lot of kids that just don't respect other people, and uh, massive issue. Um, but I'm not going to say, oh, it's because, you know, we're playing Terraria and all that, you know, that's just a video game. Which I like, but, you know, it doesn't mean you have to like everyone else playing it. But, like, Plane spotting, not all those plane spotters get on, but uh, it's a lot more of a um, a mannered and you know mature um, subject. So you know more people kind of get together because they are actually together instead of this online. It's not like when people drive a car. You know, when people when they are inconvenienced by another driver or a person behind the wheel. Yeah, <laughs> um, they're like oh, <laughs> but then when the person gets out the car. And the other person gets out of the car, they're like, sorry, you know what I mean? Like, as soon as people get into a car, depending on what type of car, of course, um, people, like, end up with... Because my granddad, he was driving through Leeds one day, and he didn't really know the place, and he got blasted on the lights. He did, he got blasted on the lights, because they went to green, and he was kind of like, where am I meant to bloody go? You know, to bloody hell with it. And, um, yeah, this guy blasted my granddad. Uh, so my granddad got out of the car and said, do you know this place? And the guy said, of course I do, I live here. And my granddad said, yeah, well, I don't. And then the last 10 minutes, the guy who blasted him literally spent 10 or 20 minutes um, giving him a road map of where he needs to go. And oh, if you need to go down there, uh, if you ever um, get lost, here's my phone number. So yeah, people do act different behind their screen and behind the wheel. That's just a fact. Um, confrontation in real life, it's a lot different and a lot more um, mannered. A lot more control because people are, you know, physical there, and you know, you can visible, visibly see them. Um, so it kind of, you know, how we're all psychologically meant to um, um, react and act around one another. You know, we're not <laughs> we're not a species. I know we are, but we're not a species that were really designed to sit behind with a computer arched over. You know what I mean? And uh, have all these negative thoughts dwelled on each other. Um, but uh, yeah, we were designed to communicate and, um, with other human beings. That's why I've got a, a voice box, a clarinx or whatever, uh, you know. <laughs> um, and we, we weren't born with computer chips in our body. You know, we were made to, you know, or um, uh, evolved um, to speak to each other, make communication, so, yeah, and, uh, of course, when people alter that, or through social media, you know, people, I think people just lose a bit of contact, or they don't really understand one another, or other people's success, or, 
um, reasons to be, I don't know, um, somewhat better than someone else, you know what I mean? So if he, if he, because they can't see them or interact with them, they, 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 they get all frustrated and send off a horrible message. That's what people do, I think people kind of, I don't know, just go a bit senile, you know what I mean? Uh, and act a bit strange when they can't speak or reason with other people. A bit like what boxers do, they can't reason with other people, they haven't got the intelligence to work it out mentally and construct it into uh, verbal speech, so what we do, it, we, we do it a good old physical and give them a good Charlie punch, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Uh, but now, haters wanna hate, hate, hate. <laughs> the creepers wanna, what? <laughs> Alright, we gaming, let's uh, have enough of that. Um, but yeah, I'm assuming the creepers are the haters, or, yeah. The waiters want to wait, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, we do. I don't know if there are any waiters at the moment. All the waiters are waiting to be um, employed again. Um, but no, I, I'll just ignore it. Ignore it, guys. Ignore every single dislike the videos get for the next week, month, six months, if they really have that much time on their hands, but I'll be doing better things and... Uh, that and just looking at a, a dislike um, figure or toll. Um, I'll be out at the airport streaming and you know interacting with you guys as they're just constantly clicking a, a mouse, <laughs> yeah, or a screen to basically um, um, foretell their sadness or hatred uh, to my enigma. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's rather sad how people act on the internet, but you can't do anything about it. Uh, again, I don't get much hate. <laughs> I haven't had hate for... I don't know, I, I don't think ever. So I think this is actually my first ever... I wouldn't say serious, but... Because it's me against a load of four-year-olds, yeah. But, um, yeah. But, you know, um, I know people are powerful in numbers. Um, and nine people that don't like the video. It's really just the same account. It's the same user of the same account, but... As YouTube said to me, they would... I look into the user's details and, um, yeah, come back if there uh, are any um, references to harassment and cyberbullying. And, you know, I just thought, you take this seriously. You know, YouTube don't just, you know, say all this. But, you know, they do actually, you know, take it. And I've never really had to report something on YouTube before. For a, uh, It's kind of like calling 999 and just saying, yeah, it's not really an emergency. It's more just like... Is just a large gathering of kids out and about on the street and, you know, they're meant to be social distancing. You know what I mean? Which, yeah, we did today, apparently. Um, yeah, we did. <laughs> it's just a bunch of kids outside the co-op and, yeah, we reported it. Just because, you know, they're um, using themselves to spread the virus. So, uh, me and my dad just thought, yeah, it'd be, it'd be responsible to get the police here and to basically uh, educate them. But, um, they can't be doing this at a moment. And they had marijuana and all that, just outside of co-op. <laughs> so, yeah, pretty interesting. Who's this guy? Oh, he's my mate. Um, but in terms of YouTube, <laughs> YouTube policing, um, that's obviously a lot less serious, but YouTube obviously take it very serious about cyberbullying and harassment, so, um, yeah, I, I appreciate that. Um, for anyone who needs it, not just me, I'm just... Uh, oh, oh, I'm not doing it just to be a job's worth, but, you know, I, I do realise that, you know, free viewing is what this channel is, and it's always been about people watching videos uh, and enjoying it and being able to comment for free, not having to charge a, a monthly fee or whatever to watch my airport streams. Um, but also, content as well. Uh, if people are ruining it for other people and also destroying the chat with their... Uh, ongoing number of accounts you know what I mean it, it does it is harassment and bullying because it's bullying other people and people can't get their comments in it's not fair also it's spam it's against all the YouTube guidelines um, and um, once you start to get a certain number of you know reports and uh, blocks and you know um, people reporting user the same user of the same YouTube ID you know, people, YouTube start to, you know, take that seriously, and uh, I don't know, but I'm assuming other people who watch that stream afterwards, um, 
yeah, I'm assuming they may have reported them, so I don't know if it is that YouTube care <laughs> or that some of you guys got involved and YouTube kind of thought, oh, there's been about... Because that view video yesterday, the stream at the airport, it's had about 130 views on it. You know, about 30 of them are my fans. We gaming, Squid and Gaming. I'm assuming you watched it and maybe saw some of the stupid comments coming in. Well, maybe not because I blocked them all immediately. But every time I blocked them, <laughs> it seems... I know, it is... Honestly, I think frogs are more intelligent than that. I think I'm doing frogs a disservice, actually. Earthworms. Um, yeah. Lower than earthworms. Deleting, you know, basically blocking a user. They can't interact with a the channel. They can't comment. They can't uh, join the chat and share their opinions or their uh, repulsive hate. They can't do anything because I blocked them from the channel. They can't. It's like muting someone, shutting the door in their face. And them screaming as loud as they want, and they can't. You, you're just like, I don't know anything about it. Sorry, <laughs> like having your fingers in your ear. You know what I mean? But um, you know, it is basically just um, yeah. Um, there's no point. Um, <laughs> so so what they do? They make a new channel. Um, it's still them. It's still them, because I went on to uh, one of their channels. They set up one called I Like Turtles. Um, you know, I like turtles. And um, they went on to my Trevor Expert Extra channel. They went, obviously, onto this channel. They went on to my community post. One of them put, I like airplanes. One of them said, I like ear rapes, which is nice. Uh, and one put, uh, I like uh, flights or something. So, uh, and they spelled airplanes wrong. <laughs> so, pretty funny. <laughs> um, but, um... Yeah, they actually put planes, like, P-L-A-I-N-E-S. Oh, you know what I mean? I think, yeah. That's more painful than getting a kick in the bollocks. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, they went on to, you know, and then it said the user account for I Like Turtles, you know, these bullies, technically. Um, yeah, the 15th of February, 2021. Yeah, they basically just created a new channel so they can comment. Um and uh, continue their repulsive acts of hate and harassment. Uh, which is awfully sad because I've blocked that one as well. So whether they're going to create a new one um, to continue their repulsive bullying, I don't know. But uh, it does seem rather um, stupid uh, that they uh, are, are clearly wasting precious time of their life. I mean, they're in lockdown. What, else, what better are they going to do? Um, so I'm just going to look forward to March because probably then they'll probably get a better life and they probably won't, they probably bully someone else because that's what people like. But I'm not going to give them more oxygen because the more I talk, the more they will um, breed on my uh, verbal speech here and want to retaliate because that's what bullies do. Um, I mean, again, if they even watch this and chose not to comment at all or do anything, not dislike, that actually proves, if anything, that they're. If they don't do anything. If you listen to this without acts from themselves, like dislikes, likes actually proves, if anything, that they may be more mentally strong than I thought. So, we'll see. But if they decide to comment and dislike or say, oh, you talked about me at time stamped, you know what I mean? 50 minutes into the video, that proves that they clearly get hurt and upset off this or feel the need to retaliate or, or belittled by... Uh, yeah, my <laughs> intellectual <laughs> verbal dialogue here, um, which I'm not surprised by, but yeah, I try to defend you guys as much as possible, but also <laughs> myself, because, um, you know, there's some bad people out there, unfortunately, and all I can do is, yeah, keep everyone safe, keep myself safe, my privacy, and my data, and, you know, everything else. Along with it, um, but also, um, you guys have even removed my, um, uh, my business email, my, um, my email, I, I had my email address attached to, uh, this channel, um, and, uh, tonight I decided to remove it just in case I end up getting direct messages from these, uh, low lives, uh, but also in terms of my own data and my ID, basically, um, and yeah, 
So I've decided to do that just in case I get hold of my address. Um, I've informed YouTube about them, and um, YouTube, they're basically on the, they're on the list in terms of, yeah, um, yeah, they're basically on a on a, a report. That's what basically YouTube said. They said these users are on a on a red list, and if we encounter any other witnesses to experience their repulsive acts or at all they continue their repulsive acts yeah they are basically uh, on a report sheet on our system uh, on our database to be um, yeah disposed from the platform or as I said short term um, lack of access on their behalf of their uh, ID, YouTube ID and Google account um, and yeah so Great stuff. Again, I actually didn't know YouTube took it so seriously, so I was kind of um, over the moon to find out that, yeah, oh, maybe YouTube aren't as bad as they, as they seemed, or, yeah, they seem to have a, a better terms of service and, yeah, the department than I thought. So, yeah, um, I was able to uh, basically tell them about the issue and they got straight back to me. Um, Probably because I've messaged them before about issues like, oh, can I get my videos back? No. <laughs> oh, it's this idiot again. Oh, come on. Give him a benefit of a doubt. Let's see if he's got his videos back. Oh, he's getting a little bit of um, hate. Oh, we'll, 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 we'll protect him. We'll, 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 for the, for the um, resilience, we'll, we'll, we'll uh, give him a, a shot on this one. It'd be funny if they deleted my account. Uh, actually, no. Because we're Americans and we're backwards, <laughs> we've got to delete your channel <laughs> and give all of them your subscribers. <laughs> you know, like winning the lottery. Yeah, wouldn't be surprised if that happened at all. Um, but yeah, I predict. Um, but no, um, I would ignore them uh, for the foreseeable future. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, don't comment to them guys, don't even get involved with them, don't we game in Squid and Game and I know you're you know, quite close home here, but please don't, you know, be over confident and try to stand your ground and, you know, comment to them because all they're gonna do is use you as a target. Um it's a bit like coronavirus, yeah. <laughs> they they basically use their hosts open opportunity because if you're proven to be open, like come on, welcome in. You know, they're gonna do it, aren't they? They're gonna choose to, um, yeah, retaliate. And that's what bullies do hurt people, hurt others, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna stop talking about it because, um, yeah, <laughs> it has been on my mind for the last couple of days. Not because it's upset me, but just because I thought, yeah, it, it is a little bit, it needs to be addressed. That, um, yeah, these people are causing issues within my stream, but also other, or, or my, my, you know, my users, my, my, yeah, my, my fan base, um, are not being able to comment, and, you know, they're basically overriding the chat and stuff like that, and, you know, YouTube takes spam very seriously, so, I am not surprised they decided to get involved. Go on, wee! Yeah, it's all good news. There's a lot of comments here, basically, saying... <laughs> horrible things about them. Um, but yeah. They're probably fish heads. <laughs> They're probably fish heads. You mean fish brains? Yeah. Monkey brains. Yeah. They're probably fish heads. Yeah. They live in a pond. Only coming to the surface when they want a bully. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's probably true. Yeah, they're fish heads. Or catfishes, yeah. I mean, yeah, they're probably about four years old. They probably don't know. Um, you know, probably their education's been ruined. They probably haven't been able to socialise with anyone for about nine months. So I'm not surprised they can't. Because if, if that's it, if you if you lack the ability to show common decency to people, which enough people in this world, you know, do. Um, you know, you just can't respect others around them. You know, it, it almost... You don't have to say anything, do you? They know that they can't do it. They know their ability is minute to communicate with others on a on a friendly manner. So, if anything, it's just bringing them more pain when they want to 
retaliate because they know deep down like oh, I wish I could have the ability to be nice to people but because I'm hurt I've got to take it out on other people who seem more happier than me you know what I mean it's a type of jealousy that lies within one to um, you know attack people who um, see more outgoing confidence um, you know better dressed or whatever um, yeah well, all I ask is who, who who dressed these guys <laughs> yeah because um, seem a bit scruffy people to me um, so yeah <laughs> they probably just found the dislike button, haven't they? <laughs> yeah, they'd be like, oh, what's this button? <laughs> yeah. And decided to use it for the first time ever. Um, but yeah. I hope it's not affecting you. I'm going to report it. No, don't report it. I've done all I've needed to do. You don't need to report it further, guys. Um, but I will add people as a moderator if they want to contribute to basically protect others in the community. In my community, but as well as the, you know, the, the quality of the content. Because as soon as, you know, I know, bin bags start to empty out the trash, um, into your, you know, crystallised, you know, friendly, outgoing, intellectual community, which mine is, you know, it just ruins it for the people. It's just like, you know, just get rid of this. Take out the trash. So I'm gonna uh, make you make you guys. Um, he said window cleaners. No, I'm gonna make you guys uh, window lickers. <laughs> no, to basically get rid of a window lickers. I'm gonna basically give you guys the opportunity to be um, a bin man. Yes, a um, yeah, a bin man uh, or a bin lady. Uh, a bin s. <laughs> a bin s, you know. Jessamy. That's a good name, isn't it? Jessamy for a female. I think so. Uh, but anyway, yeah. Um, if you want to be a moderator on the y YouTube channel, I don't mean Twitch, because uh, we don't get them here. Um, at least I don't hope so. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, please ask me if you want to be a moderator, but please don't use it to, you know, basically big yourself up or to, you know, prove that, oh, you know, you know, I, I, I'm a moderator and all that, and, you know, say it to them because then you guys become... I, I just want to do it discreetly, so if you guys want to be a moderator, tell me about it now, uh, and I'll make you a moderator tomorrow morning when I'm on the way to the airport or uh, Dylan and, you know, people in the, 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 the plane spotting community can uh, basically pick out these guys um, and basically report them, do my job, uh, and then we have more witnesses... Um, it's basically like a, like a protest to get um, more rubbish off the internet. So it's a, it's a great I mean, it's a great cause. It's a great uh, solitary to be involved in if you want to be a, a moderator. So secretly, guys, being a moderator will give you the opportunity to basically get more rubbish off the internet, and that's great, guys, isn't it? I'm quite happy to promote it, um, as well as my merch. Yeah, I bought yeah I've, my merch still isn't coming. It said 20 days, to be fair. I ordered it on the 29th. So it should be moving soon, you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, if you've ordered my merch, yeah, it may not come for about a month. Uh, but when I get mine, I'll let you know and basically say, listen, this is how long it takes to get here. <laughs> it's got a beard on it. My T-shirt, my own T-shirt's got a beard on it. <laughs> it's got cobwebs on it. This is how long it takes to get to you. Yeah? Whether you want to buy it, it's basically like a pre-order. <laughs> it does exist because I'm wearing it. Uh, but whether it comes or not, I think it will come. Um, I don't know. Either it's been stuck in transit or... It's basically UPS and this other one called Ascendius or Ascendia. Uh, and they're... I don't know. I, I think I need to message them to basically let them... Yeah, no, well, I did message them a couple of weeks ago. Um, but I think I need to message them again or speak to one of our uh, managers just to let them know that, you know, you, you're saying all this about, yeah, the UAE and all this, and oh, because of Brexit, we can't 
transport. Well, I'm sorry, you, 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 your competitors seem to manage day day to day. Um, so, uh, whether this is all talk or just excuses, 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 um, I will not be using your service again. You know what I mean? You know, you, you don't get lucky twice. Well, you, <laughs> once you get unlucky twice, you move on, don't you? Um, so, I have a fair education on um, giving businesses service and when they let me down um, for the first time. Um, I give them the benefit of the doubt. If they let me down for the second time, I start to question. If they let me down for the third time, they're out. You know what I mean? They're out of the picture, so... Uh, but I can't do anything about who... Who sends my merch to who. I, I you know, I, I make it all on stream elements, so... Stream elements. I might message stream elements on maybe getting a better... Um, provider. But they won't do it. Doesn't know they won't. <laughs> Because already I think I, 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 I get the... Um, I think I understand the picture of... Uh, I'm, I'm starting to see who stream elements may be. I think they, they're they not as good as they claim. Or... I don't know. Um, don't, don't seem as genuine as people are saying. Because that's what people do, don't they? The, the Wix does it. Other, other things do it. They put all the reviews... Right at, right at the front of a page. And these YouTubers I've never heard of before. You know what I mean? Who's... who Who's this? Who's the smexy beast? Who's that? Sorry. So, I'm sorry. Whether it's just... You know, they're laundering... Um, you know, fake users. Or YouTubers to basically promote their stuff. It's a bit like... What's that thing called? Honey and Mr. Beast? I bet he never uses it. Of course he doesn't, because he's bloody... Yeah, he, 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 you know, they want familiar faces. I know. It's a bit like Marks and Spencers, having that, um, that wafter on, uh, what's his name? I've forgotten his name now. Um, having, um, I don't know. Someone, you know, it kind of gives a picture of a company, having someone who's maybe not very presentable. I actually feel like the sun's going to burn me. Um... Yeah, um, having, let's, I don't know, someone who's not very, bit, bit scruffy around the edges. It's like having, um, uh, Piers Morgan, you know, someone very, you know, controversial, um, promoting in an advert of Marks and Spencers. You know, people are going to look at that advert and think, oh, Piers Morgan, I hate him. I don't, you know, he's very controversial. I agree with some of the stuff he says, but not all of it. He's, um, quite a, a wild man. Uh, but anyway, um, but no, in terms of, you know, um, Marks and Spencers, you know, for example, how using Piers Morgan and Simon Cowell, all in one of their, you know, adverts, people are going to look at Marks and Spencers and think, really? It, it, no, I, I'm not, I'm not going to buy their food because bad, bad influencers are influencing their food. So, you know, I mean, that's what people do. So, Honey and Mr. Beast, you know, I think Honey is for teenagers and to get a, a familiar face in there. Um, it, 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 um, I don't know, approves to youths and, oh, I know, Mr. Yeah, Mr. I watch his videos, yeah. So, you know, um, not the most professional business strategy in the world mm -hmm. to get a caveman promoting the stuff, but, oh well, he's money laundering as well, so why not <laughs> add him? Yeah, consistency in advertising. Yeah. Oh, not Mr. Beast. No. I don't watch him. I, to be honest, I think kids my age don't really watch that stuff. Um, because it's kind of for 14 year olds, 13 year olds, you know, infants or whatever. Infants. Young adolescents. Once you start to reach my age, you want to learn more and get more, you know, my YouTube analytics page is literally um, aviation news. Um, Documentaries on manufacturing Airbus and stuff like that. Um, what else is there? Some tutorials on you know guitar and playing guitar because I like to play guitar at the moment. Uh, but also uh, I know my, my secret hobbies. Yeah, I, I, not a lot, but I'm playing the guitar. I, I pick a guitar up about twice a day and just try and learn something I learned on YouTube. Yeah, I don't think YouTube understands just the, the demographic of their audience and. Uh, Subsections that can be 
pronounced with, you know, the power of YouTube, you know, a tool, YouTube, it's like Minecraft, it's, a, it's like a tool, tutorials, you know, you can do a lot for a video, it's powerful, audio and visuals, you know what I mean, it's the two things that combine, and it's successive, you know, these Skype calls, because it's everything you need, um, to communicate with people, contact, you know, visual contact, so you can see the person, but also, you know, the actions they may make, but also the, uh, the vis you know, the, um, audio, the, um, yeah, a dialogue, so yeah, but good. Hmm, have you read a dictionary, sir? No, <laughs> I'm just, on, yeah, I am trying to educate myself on how to, um, <laughs> maybe I should be a lawyer, <laughs> yeah, ooh, you know, bigger words, and, you know, I, I am reading quite a bit, you know, documentaries and interviews with, you know, intellectuals, um, so I pick up a lot of, uh, vocabulary and, you know, words that are rich with meaning, but are short. Yeah, in the last year as well, I've picked up so many good tips and vocabulary to, um, basically pronounce my enigma and my... I don't know, my struggles. <laughs> more, some very more plubbable to people, if you know what I mean. So I'm, I'm almost like some really, some, some, some wordy, I don't know, fountain of knowledge. <laughs> at the moment, not really, but I'm still a Muppet, but I'm, I'm just trying to prove something I'm not. Oh, look at that. It's terrible, that. Uh, but yeah. Hmm. It's good to be wordy. Because you can make others feel stupid. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to use it as my... Like, my key to making people feel stupid. But when I need to get a point across, yeah, I'll use more than words than necessary. You know what I mean? To basically describe uh, what I'm talking about. So people get a a rich idea of uh, where they stand in terms of... I'm here and you're there. You know what I mean? It's my, my dad does it as well, so it's kind of a trait. <laughs> uh, but now, last year's been kind of wild. <laughs> like uh, forever ago, you know what I mean? Forever ago, that, that's not a word. <laughs> yeah, ages ago. Yeah, for last year, it doesn't feel like it's been a year, does it, with all that's been happening? Really doesn't. Uh, but yeah. So what do we do? What do you mean, what do you do? Well, you guys, you, you guys, you know, in terms of these bullets, oh, I just do nothing. If you want to be a moderator, let me know. Because more people that can report and block, you know, more that YouTube have these guys on their red list. Um, but also, yeah, like YouTube came back to me within like about, I don't know, I sent the email off last night and they came back to me about five o'clock this evening. So, yeah. Pretty, um, it's five o'clock, you know, it's about midday there. Uh, so, you know, it's pretty good, consistent. Um, and yeah. So, um, basically, I've been rest, rest assured if, um, any more, yeah, just any more comments or anything's been said, not dislikes, but anything that's hateful or spam or misleading from any other users as well <laughs> so watch what you say guys <laughs> even if you're just being sarcastic to me uh, yeah um my channel is on a, a vulnerable um section of basically subject to um being harassed or bullied so yeah um that's basically our youtube phrase i even got my dad to read it as well because i can't understand Lawyer speech and YouTube use a lot of lawyer speech to describe their stuff. They shouldn't, but you know, it seems a lot of kids are on the platform. But um, yeah, they um, yeah, they said report to a parent or guardian. So that's probably what they meant. Um, so yeah. Oh god. That's all these bullies boys. Oh, you got your dad to read it. You, no, no, I did it because I couldn't understand certain like their tone and stuff like that. YouTube's tone. Um, but yeah. My dad even said, oh, they can't bloody... <coughs> Sorry. They can't bloody... <coughs> they can't use connectives properly. 
And yeah, they can't. YouTube can't use connectives properly. They, they, they can't bloody speak. <laughs> I mean, prime example, they said they were going to delete everyone's YouTube channel if they um, were commercially... They weren't commercially viable. Now, what does that mean? That sounds like if you're not making money on YouTube, they're going to delete your channel. But no, what they actually meant, if you weren't making money on YouTube, they were going to get rid of features like community posts and the join section. I mean... You know what I mean? They they really do wanna. I know. I, I don't really really think about. It. It's more lawyers. But I, I know they said they wanted to be more transparent. They were actually just updating and upphrasing what was written there before in like 2016. It doesn't mean there were going to be new laws and rules in place. Or I hope not. I hope this isn't. That wasn't like a warning of the future. Or they could use that in their defence. Like, oh no, we did say. In uh, 20, uh, 28, no, no, uh, 1st of January 2020, in our terms of service, we did say um, in that envelope that, you know, we we were going to, um, you know, delete YouTube channels that weren't commercially viable. But then they said, no, that's not what we mean. There's been a lot of people worrying at a moment. Uh, so, yeah, I think they would be taken to court over that if they basically said, no, that's not what we mean. But, yes, that's what we mean. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> YouTube politics, it's um, quite confusing. Uh, but as a YouTuber, you know, you, you need to understand it because um, you don't need to, but, you know, in terms of being on the platform, you kind of got to commit yourself to, you know, follow the um, interactions YouTube make with, uh, you know, platformers and all that. Um, and, um, yeah. Um, yeah, to know what's coming next, basically, because they say to, um, well, this is more for, you know, harassments, if you want to be ahead of, um, your, um, target, you need to know your opponent's next move, so, um, <laughs> I think I'm miles ahead in terms of safety and all that, um, but yeah, can't believe how drastic this is, yeah, well, it's not drastic, but, I just want to get these people not in my streams. I, I don't want them in my streams. I don't know. I don't want them anywhere near. Uh, of course, they can come to this channel. Yes, they can. They're more than welcome. They're more than welcome to watch the videos. But I do not want them um, harassing my community. Me. They can dislike the videos. They're allowed to do that. They're allowed to dislike the videos. Uh, but they. I don't want them basically to continue. Their acts, and negative acts, uh, because you know it. You know it, it's hurtful, to, isn't it? It's hurtful for you guys. It's hurtful for me, not because they're upsetting me, but they're upsetting other people that are, you know, will put people off from watching my content because I've got a couple of bin bags, a couple of mosquitoes hanging around. It's like a, it's like a restaurant, a good restaurant that's been invaded by a bunch of mosquitoes and maggots. People don't want to go there. It's not the restaurant's fault, it's the fact that, oh, it might, it may be, <laughs> if we've got food hang, hanging around, but, you know what I mean? My video is a, is a source of food for them. They will eat off it, if you know what I mean. That's what haters do. more I upload, more they will, oh, the experts uploaded a new video, um, and they will eat off it, dislike it, and comment on it. It's like me giving them tea, but if I don't make videos, but you have nothing to feed off. Yeah. Like, oh, we can't, we're gonna, we actually do have the intelligence to think. Um, oh, if we keep commenting on this video, you know, we're gonna seem a bit old fashioned, you know, maybe people are gonna tell us to move on. But if he keeps making new videos, well, yeah, of course, we'll be more than happy to keep harassing him. You know, that's what people of that intelligence do. And it kind of lets me down that they're playing Terraria, you know what I mean? Because it makes me look stupid as well. So someone's like, oh, don't you support your own community? You know, that's Terraria. You're a Terraria expert. I think that's the thing. I think they see it as some sort of joke, but, uh, you know, <laughs> you know, they, just guys, girls, whoever you are, just, you know, move on. Yes, I like Terraria, and I may not be an expert, <sighs> but I don't know. Who gets the last laugh of someone basically falling for the joke? <laughs> <coughs> Do you 
Yeah. <laughs> that went joking. Quite literally. Uh, but no, you know, my name is basically just... Um, I know, I, I, I've I just kept it because I like to write, I still do, I don't play it, but I've kept it because that's kind of like my reminder of where I came from or whatever, or my, 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 my days where I enjoyed playing Terraria and I kept it on this channel. It's like someone being called an ugly nickname at school, um, but using that as a YouTube name in a positive light, if you know what I mean. Where's this guy going? What are you doing, Muppet? Oh, it's a Lucurious Wanderer. Is that what he looks like? Oh, no, Lokonda. He's got a shake. Yeah, this game is a bit buggered. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to end this video now because I think I've let you, you warned you guys. There's like a little update on just um, what you need to be um, aware of. Um, and, um, yeah, the stuff you can do to um, help uh, relegate these um, these poor people, <laughs> yeah, these very very unfortunate people who uh, don't have enough things to do in their day. So um, yeah, I'm not surprised we're in lockdown. But if you are watching this, enjoy your day. Maybe get out of a hobby. Maybe play football or I don't know. Go out for a walk. Use your energy on something else. Don't use it on my channel. Because you're just going to keep getting blocked. And more you get blocked, more YouTube are going to be aware of that. Oh, yeah. These people really are causing chaos. And yeah, it's not going to be a very nice outcome. Because you're not going to be able to use your bloody YouTube account on your device. So, yeah. And if they want the evidence, I'm more than happy to send a couple of screenshots over to them because I did take some screenshots because I know what little shits are like um, and yeah so there you go hopefully I've given you something to enjoy um, that's probably the highlight of our day this <laughs> um, but yeah just a couple of I don't know scallies just wanna I don't know try uh, to be um, I don't know <laughs> trying to be manly but with a I don't know a voice like a dog toy, you know what I mean? So, um, maybe, maybe wait a couple of years to maybe develop some better skills in terms of proving your points. And yes, even if I'm still not a terror expert in five years' time, well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to say, man. Uh, the, jo the joke is aging like a good bottle of wine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, longer it gets, better it tastes. No, be better it, better it is. Just generally, like the seven four seven. <laughs> uh, anyway, who enjoys? Thanks for watching. That's like Captain J, that isn't it? And yeah, um, I will continue this uh, video on. Um, yeah, he said Oblivion on Tuesday. And it's Tuesday. Um, Sorry, do, uh, Rage 2 on Tuesday. Tomorrow's a Terraria again, and then Thursday is a line video. So yeah, see you later. If you enjoyed, thanks for watching. Ignore the haters, because they'll be probably off the platform very, very soon. I, I, I wouldn't be at all surprised if they are. Uh, I'll see you all later. If you enjoyed, thanks for watching. Keep your chin up. Um, and yeah, I've got some more cool videos coming out soon. So yeah, on the yes, all aviation, some plane spotting. Um, I've also got a Gemini Jets video. I've got about four, no, three Gemini Jets, I think, to unbox. So that'll be maybe out this weekend. Yeah. See you later. Hope you enjoyed. And that model video will be out tomorrow. Bye.